Hey there, everybody. It's Daikaiji Tony here, here at our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics of Las Vegas, where you could get pretty much anything you want in terms of comics. And, you know what? We even ship now. So, come on. You don't even, you don't even have to walk in here. <laughs> All right. So, for this one shot, I will be talking about Spider-Man villains that I want to see in the big screen, that I want to see get a proper adaptation of. Because Green Goblin. No. <laughs> but, well, if you, you haven't seen No I haven't seen yet. it yet, no. Because here's the thing. I don't want Spider-Man to be like Batman in terms of villains where the only villains that are used are the same ones over and over again. Like, I don't right. want to see Doc Octopus and Green Goblin like every time Spider-Man gets rebooted or something like that. So here are my picks for what should be in Tom Holland's next trilogy of Spider-Man films because he said that he's willing to play Spider-Man before he turns 30, which is a long time. How old is he? Ah, uh, 24 or five. Yeah. I don't know exactly. He's a baby. All right, first one, I just want to get out of the way real quick, Mr. Negative, because if you played the Spider-Man PS4 game, Mr. Negative is a great villain for Spider-Man, especially since, you know, he has a pretty tragic backstory in both the Insomniac game and in the comics. In the comics, his origins is tied to Cloak and Dagger. And, you know, it wouldn't hurt to have Cloak and Dagger team with Spider-Man for once. But for here, let's say we'll have Mr. Negative with Cloak and Dagger's uh, tied origins. And Tom Holland's Peter has to fight him. So, yeah. Plus, there's the Feast Center from Spider-Man No Way Home. And... In the game and in the comics, M Martin Lee, who is Mr. Negative, owns the Feast Center. All right, so now to dwell into the more uh, juicy picks. Matt Gargan, a.k.a. the Scorpion. Now, when I saw the guy who played Voss from Far Cry 3 as Matt Gargan in Spider-Man Homecoming, I was so hyped because I thought I was going to see him in Scorpion one day, but it seems like he was ditched or forgotten yeah however with you know spider-man no way home being a soft reboot for tom holland's spider-man and mr jameson being more of a sinister person in the mcu because he does everything he can in, in, in no way home he does everything he can to like jeopardize peter's life we could have, potentially have Matt Gargan wearing the scorpion suit. If not, well, there's that piece of symbiote that was left behind from Eddie in the end of No Way Home, and we could potentially get scorpion venom, where venom has a big tail on his back, just like the action figure. Yeah. And, um, well, I'm not sure if, <laughs> I'm not sure if this could be shown in a movie that's somewhat aimed towards kids because like even even venom let there be carnage it's kind of a kids movie despite venom saying one f-bomb what yeah um in the comics matt gargan as venom he targeted hookers so yeah there's that <laughs> wow yeah so matt gargan is a villain that i would like to see van gargan as either scorpion or venom and you know what i'm, I'm as well add this mr jameson's robot because who knows <laughs> yeah. I, yeah like I don't want it to be Star Trek because, like, a lot of MCU is, like, Star Trek re related. I w I'm kind of sick of that. I want to see Mr. Jameson make a deal with maybe Justin Hammer to get a robot with his face <laughs> in it to yeah, fight nice. Spider-Man. That would be cool. That would be cool. All right. Moving into the more outlandish ones. How St cool would it be if, if... what Stilt Man. That's a Daredevil villain. <laughs> he was in a Spider-Man. A couple Spider-Man ones. Anyway, go ahead. How cool would it be to have Morlin in the MCU yeah. for Tom Holland's Spider-Man to fight? Matter of fact, let's adapt the whole Spider-Totem story arc. No. Yes. Which is Morlin. <laughs> Where Peter dies and comes back and he gets organic webs. And you can also shoot the spine out of him. Some weird... Let's make the next <laughs> Spider-Man movie so trippy that it's going to weird out or scare children in theaters. <laughs> <laughs> and like especially let's with tom holland having multiple eyes in his face and <laughs> with that aside well, well no with that included i would also like to see ad uh, while adapting the spider totem i want to see man spider 
Spy- Tom Holland Spider-Man with additional arms. The six arms, yeah. Yeah, and he slowly turns into a mutant monster and... Well, that was Tarantula. That happened to Tarantula first. Really? In the comics? He, yeah, he was trying to keep up with Peter Parker. He was tired of getting beat up by him because he was just a really... He was a guy. A badass, but he was a guy. And he tried to keep up with Peter and ended up turning into a giant Tarantula. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, um... So I'm dying. <laughs> wait, he died in the comics? Yeah. Oh. Originally, yeah. I know he comes back, but it's comics. Yeah. So yeah, I want to see Tom Holland Spider-Man go through horrific transformations <laughs> and you know, I want to see him go on a spider rampage and maybe get some other heroes involved to try stopping him or maybe have Man Spider fight Morlin. That would be so awesome. Yeah, well, that's how Mobius if they should do a Mobius Spider-Man crossover when he Morbius? gets his six arms. Yeah. Mor- Morbius, sorry. Yeah. yeah, but Morbius, I think he's in Venom's universe. It's not clear right now. I just got to wait till when the movie comes out, and it's going to be, like, probably one of the best movies of the year. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, those are Spider-Man villains that I want to see on the big screen. Yeah, that would be cool. I got you, Tony. Signing out. <laughs>